My name is Richard Fajardo. Been diabetic since I was 22. It runs in the family, uh, but just never really took care of myself. So I kind of like, eh, who cares? I'm young, I'm, you know, that kind of like, don't really care in the wind kind of a deal. Um, so I just kept on doing what I always did, which was nothing, you know, <laughs> party did whatever I had to do, you know, but eventually it caught up to me. One day I just kind of passed out in front of my kids. They got a little bit scared. They were about 15, 14, you know, they're not really understanding anything. Basically, they're all like, well, you should go see your doctor. I went to go see him. He recommended me to go see Dr. Nyack. I was a little bit scared at first. They're all like, well, you have an artery that's clogged. They ran a little bit more tests when I was here before my operation. And they found out that I had three of them that were clogged. So this is like, well, we're going to have to have open heart surgery. Awesome doctor that I ended up getting, Dr. Tovert, of course. They went in there. They told my wife, okay, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to do four. Four steps. Well, you know, open up and clear out four, four of the veins. Your husband's heart is 90% clogged. So it tended from being to being only a triple, to being four, to being five, and the very end, it ended up being six. Initially, I was only going to be here three days. Um, third day comes around, complications come about. Um, I went partially blind from my right eye. Then I started to get water in my lens. Um, my liver started to kind of fail. Kidneys were going out. I was hurting bad afterwards. So I ended up staying here for almost 28 days, I believe. My kids, when I went through this whole ordeal, having open heart surgery, they weren't told. We, I decided I didn't want to tell them. It was just too hard for me. When we told them, of course, the youngest ones were the ones that were, they were more hurt because of what could have happened to their dad. And that's when it started to get to me, like, you're right. You know, I need to start taking care of myself, not fooling myself and being honest with myself so I can be honest with them. It's me that wasn't able to take care of my diabetes when I should have. I should have listened, but I never did. It's changed my way of thinking, my way of um, mannerism with my family, just appreciate what I really have for that day. And the appreciation for PIH Health, I mean, I just love them. When I left this hospital, it was not, I was leaving this hospital, it was more, they made me feel like I was at home. My treatment philosophy is the mother's test. You don't do anything to your patient you wouldn't do to your mother. You know, do what we need to do for get this guy to be at 100% and for him to take care of himself. So if you're look, looking for uh, complete care from start to finish, I think that makes this place special.